What's up? I'm Josh Davis. I'm a physical therapist and strength and conditioning coach here in Portland, Oregon. Today I'm here with Adidas to teach you how to safely perform a barbell squat, plus three variations you'll want to add to your training. Let's dive in. What I love about the squat is that it's a full body exercise. When most people think squat, they think just legs. However, to properly perform the squat, you have to have an engaged upper back, engaged core muscles, and drive your hips to the ground to engage everything and properly perform the movement. Which brings me to my second point. Mobility is key. In order to perform proper squat depth, you have to have good hip and ankle mobility. This will allow you to go deep into the squat, recruit more muscles, and build better strength over time. If you have trouble hitting squat depth, try working on your hip and ankle mobility thoroughly in your warm-ups. This will allow you to build that mobility over time and allow you to achieve your squat goals. First, you're gonna to wanna to set the bar to shoulder height, and then you're gonna to wanna to choose an appropriate way to start. If this is your first time squatting with a barbell, start with just a bar, which is 45 pounds. First, you're gonna to wanna to ready yourself under the bar. Squeeze the bar tightly about shoulder width apart, and put yourself under the bar so it sits high on your back in a tight position. You're gonna to wanna to brace your core as you go to step off. Take a few small steps backwards. For the purpose of this video, I'm gonna step back a little bit further so you can see me clearly. You wanna make sure that your feet are positioned about shoulder width apart and that your toes are pointed slightly outwards. Now to properly perform the squat, you're gonna to wanna to take a big breath in, sit backwards, and let your knees comfortably go out in line with your toes. From there, you're gonna to wanna to drive your feet through the floor and you're gonna to wanna to push yourself back up to the top, keeping your chest nice and tall. Now relax, take a deep breath and engage the core again. You're gonna to wanna to do this in between each rep. After you're done squatting, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you keep your core engaged, take a few steps forward, and make sure you're safely in the rack before you relax. Here are the key takeaways for a strong squat. Keep your chest up and back neutral. Focus on bracing and engaging your core every single set. And lastly, it's okay if your mobility isn't perfect, but focus on improving it over time. If you've never squatted with a barbell before, the goblet squat is a perfect starting place. The goblet squat is going to teach you to keep your chest up, engage your core, and ultimately allow you to perform a perfect barbell squat. In order to perform a proper goblet squat, you're gonna to wanna to select a dumbbell or kettlebell of appropriate size. You're gonna grasp the dumbbell or kettlebell by the sides, keep your chest nice and high, and then you're going to want to do the same things that you do for the barbell squat. What you're gonna do is you're gonna to wanna to take a breath in, engage your core, drive your knees outwards, and squat as low as you feel comfortable doing. Again, take your feet about shoulder width apart with your toes pointed slightly out, and focus on breathing and bracing the core between each set. So here are the key takeaways for the goblet squat. First, you're gonna to wanna to focus on keeping your chest up and your back neutral. This is gonna focus the weight on your quads and your glutes. Then you're gonna to wanna to focus on squatting as deep as possible without rounding your back. This is where your hip mobility comes into play. Finally, you're gonna to wanna to drive your feet through the floor to generate as much power as you can. The next variation we'll focus on is the sumo squat. The sumo squat takes an extra wide stance which focuses on the side of your glutes and your inner thigh muscles, an area that is commonly neglected in training. To properly perform the sumo squat, you'll wanna take a wide stance with your toes pointed slightly out. From here, you're gonna bend down to pick up your weight, take a big breath, Engage the core, keeping the chest up, and stand up tall. Here are the key takeaways for the sumo squat. You'll want to take a comfortably wide stance with your toes turned slightly out, keep your chest up, core engaged. This will really light up your glutes and help you build that butt. The box squat is the perfect exercise for those who are not quite comfortable with the barbell squat yet perfect to hone technique, get comfortable with depth without getting worried about getting stuck in the bottom. You want to start just like a normal barbell squat. Position your hands shoulder width apart, pull yourself under the bar just like before. Step back and position yourself just in front of the box. From here you're going to want to take a big breath, engage the core just as before, 
and you're gonna wanna sit back so that you're just touching your butt to the box. It's important not to completely sit down. You wanna maintain tension at the box. This is a very important part of the movement. Then you're gonna stand back up, return to the top, and repeat. And you're gonna walk back into the rack, making sure not to bump the sides, and place the bar down. Here are the key takeaways to help you perfect the box squat. Keep your chest up, brace your core, and remember to only touch your butt to the box while not fully relaxing. Remember, this is still a squat. You just have a bench there to help you perfect your technique. If you're nervous about squatting with a bar for the first time, my advice would be to start wherever you feel comfortable. A perfect starting place might be the goblet squat, and from there you could transition into the back squat. Where you start is not important, it's sticking with it and trying to build up to that point to where you want to get to. Now you know the basics on how to perform a barbell squat, plus three variations that are perfect for any fitness level. I hope you enjoyed learning with me, and be sure to check out more content like this on the Adidas blog.